you just have to bet I used getting this and if you're a day into the day, it takes you about a week. It doesn't take you all the school days and all the air days. I mean, as I said, I don't, you don't use for a place. It's not fair, is it? And if you've waited that long, you've been going through people for eight years and staying in festivals and schools, in the end, it, um, it gets on your nerves. I voted for the First Nurse Party. I did vote for them, yes. Because I believe in them. We've got to do something to stand up for ourselves and they're the only people to help us. Fair enough. I've got nothing against the immigrants, but you cannot keep bringing immigrants onto a small place like this with no schooling, no housing, and nothing to accommodate the people who have lived there all their life, growing up to and going there. Hello, you've just watched a short news clip uh, from 1993, the Isle of Dogs, where Derek Beacon won the BMP's first council seat. A reporter is interviewing locals and they're telling the report of why they support and voted for the BMP. There's a young lady that uh, talks about Bangladeshis going the front of the housing queue while locals go the back of the housing queue. There's an elderly gentleman saying we just can't keep accepting all these immigrants because we haven't got the space. We haven't got the resources for the housing, the schools and so on. So listening to them is very, very telling because Derek Beacon was elected on them issues, which was uh, local uh, houses for local people. And that, that was the ticket he was elected upon because Bangladeshis, whether or not they were born there or just arrived recently, were going the front of the housing queue, like that young lady said. So the BMP ran a campaign about putting locals first, right? And the BMP was successful and Derek Beacon was elected. That's how you do it. That's what works. Now I'm almost sure, correct me if I'm wrong, when the BMP had council wins 2001 in uh, Blackburn and Burnley, that was all about resources. That was all about putting local people first. It wasn't about being a minority in 40 years time. Sharia law. Uh, female genital mutilation, grooming, honour killing or whatever. It was about the locals being given a raw deal by the local uh, council and local uh, housing uh, associations and whatever. And that's what wins, right? That's what, you see, I've got on this now. Why our enemies, Anne-Marie Waters... Uh, Tommy Robinson, Paul Golding, Britain first. They're pushing all these issues where the issues you take up with the Muslims, Sharia law, grooming, female genital mutilation, honour killing and so on and so on. They're attacking the Muslims when they should be attacking, yes, the politicians. That's who you should be attacking. And also, the way the rhetoric is put regarding the aforementioned, whether or not it's by Amory Waters or Tommy Robinson, whatever. It's like you're building up to some confrontation with them. Now, the public doesn't want a confrontation with anyone. It wants matters resolved politically. Look at the 2001 riots, say, like in Burnley, um, Oldham, whatever. Our vote, the BNP vote never went up. It never went up at all. So if these riots and all the other distasteful uh, things attached to Islam really, really uh, rile the British people, then we'd have had more and more councils elected all over Oldham and Burnley, but we, we didn't, right? Because they're scared by anything that conjures up confrontation or violence um, and, and also rhetoric that borders on uh, violence and uh, threatening words that we're going to be a minority, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. The public doesn't want to know. And another good example are the jihadi bombs that have been going off, whether it's on trains or at the Manchester Arena. If that worked for us, we should have MPs the length and breadth of the country, but we haven't. The public has only moved on issues that affect them personally. Right? Yes, they don't like the jihadi bombs. Of course they don't. They don't like the grooming. But if it doesn't affect you, then you're not moved by it. Trust me, they're not. Because if that was the case, then we should be able to stand councillors and MPs and, you know, romp home to power, shouldn't we? Well, exactly, and we're not. And Anne-Marie Waters, Paul Golding, Tommy Robinson, they're all pushing issues that uh, are issues that are taken up directly with Muslims and not 
economic issues our people face on a daily basis and also taking the fight to the MPs and councillors and whatever and the treacherous swine ruling over us where we should be taking it. It's no good arguing with the Muslims, what for? We know where we stand with them, right? So that's why they're pushing all this dead-end nonsense because it goes nowhere, right? You've got to get back, on, back in there and campaign for local on local issues for local people. Okay, thank you.